Good afternoon. Welcome to my daily broadcast. My name is Barry Selby and I'm going to take a little adventure today. <laughs> so why not? Um, welcome to my daily Facebook Live or YouTube video if you're watching it there. Um, I'll get to that in a moment. As I said, my name is Barry Selby. I am a best-selling author, speaker and relationship attraction expert, helping strong, successful women find balance in love, life and business. And I'm also a passionate champion the Divine Feminine, and I've got some brewing stuff on that. It's coming up for June that I'll tell you about soon. Um, in case you haven't seen my broadcast before, I do these every day. These are, um, I recently started as a ongoing series of rebellious talks about the way men, women being treated back after the election, just so you know the history of this. That's where number one through four or five started. It's gone along from there. So this is number 317. So <laughs> there's been a few broadcasts since then, and they're called Messages from the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. And today I just had this idea about talking about a fairy tale belief that people have. So I'm using the, um, the oft-repeated quote from Cinderella um, by the Wicked Witch, which is mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest one of all? And I'm using that as an, as an instigation so have you consider how you evaluate yourself? Yes, how you value, evaluate yourself. The idea of the, of the, of the um, phrase taken from the movie, or from the book, or how you phrase that, um, is really about self-reflection. In the movie, that I remember vaguely, I haven't seen it in a long time, in the Cinderella movie, the Disney movie, the Wicked Witch was very attached to how she's being viewed and had to one-up herself above any other um, competitor, in a way, to get what she wanted. So these questions I'm going to throw at you are actually going to be <laughs> inspired by a fairy tale. Let's think about that one. Um, I did talk about fairy tales a couple of days ago, so this is definitely in the same thematic. So what is it that you have in your way when it comes to looking at how you value or evaluate, two different words, yourself before you go out in the world and date, or mate, or meet, or relate, or, you know what I mean, to meet somebody. And the reason I ask this question is because there's a spectrum, as it were, there's a range, as it were, when it comes to these talks. Um, hi, Sydney, nice to have you in my broadcast. Welcome, I don't do um, Snapchat or Periscope anymore, I'm doing Facebook Live, that's why I've got 317 of these up here now. Um, the idea being is that we have this preponderance of image um, I'll say this another way. We have proponents of marketing about image that's sent to us over the media. So especially for women, I know, more than enough for men, although we get a lot of it too, that there's always something better that we can do, something we can look more attractive, more noticeable, more striking, more this, more that, and the other. And so our ego takes a battering us subconsciously because we think that we won't be perfect and we have the right pair of shoes, or you have the right lipstick, or the right earrings, the right, you know, all this stuff. And so your self-valuing can be impacted because you don't believe you necessarily have the right things to make you perfect to be attractive in a relationship. And I want to blow that out of the water, simply put. I want to really start putting some ideas in your head that maybe, just maybe, you actually find the way you are. Yes, you may have some desires to improve the way you take care of yourself. Maybe you're changing your diet or you're exercising more or you're going for walks or getting, getting things done to take care of yourself. But I mean this from the point of view is that if you're preparing for a date, looking to meet somebody out there, and you're making them the reason you're doing the work versus you the reason you're doing the work, that's an error in approach. At least in my world, my description. I'm a very aware, um, and I'm going to tell you out myself this way, that I've become very fascinated and attracted to certain um, dress shirt designer and dress shoes that I happen to be selling. I've got quite a few of each. Um, more than I've had in a long time. And it's kind of an interesting experience to sit in this place of going, okay, so why am I doing that? And I'm really doing it for me. Yes, I, people notice and make comments about, oh, nice shirt and nice shoes. But I'm having a great deal of fun wearing them. And that's for me. So totally didn't plan on outing myself, but so be it. So what I'm saying to you is that if you've got this sense that maybe you want to do something to prepare for a... Um, you're welcome, Linda. I'm glad, I'm glad we had a good conversation. And I've, I will email you. I've got, I didn't do that yet. It's been a busy day, but I will drop an email off to you. Um, and again, my prayers are with you. Um, staying on track. 
Okay, yes, there's, there's the thought. It was like slipping away. Like, bring it back. So if you are someone who is considering the dating relationship arena and you are basing your appearance and your self-care on what you think they would like, using that, using that analogy from the Wicked Witch from, the Queen, from uh, Cinderella, it's time to stop that baloney. <laughs> if, you're dress, if you're looking in the mirror and seeing yourself and going, oh, I want to change some things about my appearance, because you want to change things about your appearance, for you, that's, that can be a worthy choice. I'm being careful I say that because for some people, the desire to keep fixing themselves is a self-inflicted nightmare because the Lafayette in Los Angeles, all the plastic surgery that goes on, and I think it's still tied to a lot of, of um, self-worth issues. But I'm talking about the fact that if you are saying, you know, I want to get my, I want to, want to um, up-level your dressing, your, your, what, you, what you wear, you want to go get slim and go work out at the gym, or you want to get more muscles because they will like you more because of that. Don't do that. If you're doing it for yourself, that's healthy. If you're doing it for somebody else, that's codependent. And I've talked about codependence many times. And the truth is, yes, you may do that for that person, but the problem is going to be, and this is one of those secrets, as it were, if you're someone who basically is trying to prepare for the relationship by making yourself look good for them, once you've got them, then what happens? First of all, you if you're in the mindset that you can stop doing what you were doing to be ready for that person, and now you've got them, you don't have to do it anymore, you're sadly mistaken because they're, gonna, they're likely, more often than not, will start wondering what happened to you when you stop taking care of yourself at the level that you did for them. Second thing is, if they don't maintain a level of self-care once you're in a relationship that you're doing, you're going to start judging them. And that's going to be a trap. So, it, and it sounds very surface, and in a way it is surface, but it's bigger than that, because this ties into self-value, self-worth, as well as how you are comfortable or not comfortable in relationship. So to, and I'm, I'm sort of, as I'm exploring as I'm saying it, this is not, again, by the way, if you've never seen my broadcast before, these are never scripted. I don't have bullet points or a cheat sheet off screen, off camera. I just go wherever this goes, and sometimes it's useful, and sometimes it's like, oh yeah? Okay, so this is one of those. Consider for yourself what your self-reflection is in the mirror. When you consider yourself as you are a single, or when you consider yourself when you're looking for dates. If they're not the same, you might want to look into that. Meaning that if you are looking at yourself in the mirror and going, you look great, and then when you look at someone, when you're looking at yourself before you go on a date, you're going, ooh, you need to change some things, that's a disparity, that's a, that's a, that's a recognition that maybe you want to do some deeper work on yourself before you go on a date. Because it's a self-valuing. Because a lot of times, and this is another thing you'll say, by the way, uh, and you may have seen this too, I, I've, out of the world I've seen people who are dressed to the nines and all made up perfectly, but they, they, they don't look like they're inhabiting their beauty or their looks. They may be shoulder slumped or maybe walking clumsily or they may be head down or whatever that is. That, so it gives away the fact that they're trying to cover up something they're not comfortable with. There are people I also know who dress in very generic, average clothing, but they shine because their light inside is strong because they value who they are. And that's where I think I would recommend you put your focus. Is that mirror mirror is looking inside yourself and seeing where you can shine more brightly in your life, in the world, and then into relationships. I'm making sure I cover, I've got I've got a lot of threads out there. I'm making sure I covered all the pieces I was going to talk about. I think that's it. I think that might be it. If not, I'll have to do more of it tomorrow. Um, if this triggers something for you, I'm glad. And if there's something for you to think about, I'd I invite you to look into it in your own life to do some reflection, maybe some journaling reflection. If that's something for you. If you basically feel totally comfortable about this, great, because your self-esteem may in fact be strong and your self-worth is valuable too. But if there's some issues in the area, you might want to look at getting some help. Um, I've shared this many times and do this on my broadcast. If there's some support you're looking for in the area of love and relationships and even in self-worth in this piece, I invite you to check out my website, particularly because I offer on there on the first button on the navigation bar, I think a, click, a button called Let's Chat. And that is a, an opportunity to sign up for a complimentary com complimentary clarity conversation that I'll offer, which is a 30-minute conversation. If that resonates for you, reach out for that. If you want to see my other broadcast, by the way, this is number 317, 
You find all of those on my website, again, barryselby.com. Click on the video blog to watch them there. Or you can watch them on my YouTube channel, because I get these over there as well, which is Barry Selby. Playlist is Message for the Masculine. And on my business page on Facebook, which is barryselby.author. If you have any questions, comments, thoughts about this topic, please put them below. If you know anybody should watch this, please share it with them. And as always, well, your homework is mirror work. <laughs> um, I haven't given this homework out for a while, but this is a little nudge. If you haven't done this before or done this for a while, take a few minutes to look in the mirror tonight and in the morning and keep doing this if you want to. And just tell yourself you love yourself in the mirror. And do that for a few minutes and connect and see how it feels. That mirror, mirror work will change your life. Do that five minutes in the morning, five minutes in the evening. Do it for 30 days. It will change your life. That is homework I recommend you take on for yourself because you'll love it eventually. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks for being with me. I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care. Bye.